Brian from Open Mesh here. Today I'm at Aura Dental Clinic and I'm going to show you how to install a basic wireless mesh network using Open Mesh products and cloud tracks. First, we're going to install a gateway unit. Then we'll install a repeater using the wall cover. And then we'll manage the entire thing using cloud tracks. We're in the network room here and we have a cable modem that's then feeding a router. And we're going to plug our Open Mesh access point into this router. The first step to installing a wireless network is to install a gateway. A gateway unit is any open mesh access point that's connected directly to the internet. So for this stage, we're going to need an access point, a power pack, and a Cat5 cable. Before you start installing, take a note of the MAC address that's on the back of each wireless unit. We're going to need this later in order to control it through cloud tracks. We're going to start with a spare port on our router and connecting our data cable to that. We're going to plug the other end of this cable into our port on the access point. There's a 12 to 20 volt PoE port and a standard port. For this purpose, because we're not using PoE, it doesn't matter, we can use either port. We've already drilled holes in the wall where we can mount this unit. And then we connect power. So we can see that this green light is already flashing for the wireless network, which means the unit has checked into cloud tracks and is already broadcasting a wireless network. Now we're going to extend the network to another part of the building using a repeater. When adding a repeater, you want to place it close enough to the gateway to pick up the signal, but far enough away to meaningfully boost your coverage area. We recommend going no more than 150 feet or through more than three walls. Every environment is going to be a bit different, so you can experiment to find the best mix of coverage and signal strength for your installation. For this stage, we're going to use an access point, a power pack, a wall cover, and a couple of screwdrivers. So first, we can open up our wall cover. There's a tab on the bottom. Stick a screwdriver in there and open it up. We've included a screw here that we're going to use to replace this one. I'm just going to unscrew the cover plate that's on this electrical outlet. We're going to use the screw that's included with the wall cover. The wall cover can be mounted on a traditional outlet with a center mount screw, and it can also be mounted on a Decora style outlet with screws above and below, in which case we'd use the hole in the middle of the cover. So, just insert the screw. Now all we need to do is plug in the power pack and plug in our OM2P. On the back of the wall cover, there are two alignment posts that line up with these holes on the access point. Simply clip it into place Slide the cover on from the top and snap it into place. Now that we have our gateway and our repeater installed, we're going to manage our network using cloud tracks. So, first, we can connect to the network. You can see that cloud tracks and cloud tracks secure are already broadcasting, so we'll connect to the open cloud tracks network. Now that we're online, we can log into cloud tracks. So now we're at cloudtracks.com and we're going to create a new account so we can manage our wireless network. On this page, we're going to enter a master login ID, a password, our email address, and our first name. So we can see here that our master account was created successfully. Before we can use this account, we need to go into our email and confirm that this was the account that we created. Just click Verify Account. Now that our account has been confirmed, we can create a new network. So our network name is going to be Aura Dental. For our network location, we need to enter the address of the actual office. This will help us place the units using Google Maps. 
CloudTrax will send an email when any node goes down for any period of time. So enter an email address where you'd like those node notifications to go. We're now editing the network or a dental. The first thing we're going to do is add our access points to this network. So click Add, Edit Nodes. You can see the satellite view to see the actual building. There's our dental office there. Just click on the map to add our node. So first, we're going to add the gateway and just give it a name. And then add the MAC address that you noted earlier. Now we can add our repeater unit. So that's complete. We've now added our units to the network and we can now control them using CloudTrax. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our general settings. So we can change the time zone to be local. We can change the transmission power. We're going to leave it at the default setting. We can choose to use 24 hour or 12 hour time. We're going to change it to 12 hour. And we're going to turn on email alerts. You can save those settings by clicking the update network settings button. Now we're going to control the individual SSIDs. These are the network names that are broadcasting for the network. So the first one is called CloudTrax. We're going to change that to say Aura Dental. And we're going to leave it open for now, so we won't put a password in place. But if we did want a password, this would be the place to put it. We are going to add a splash page later on, but for now we'll leave that empty. We're going to change the download limit. Right now it's 10,000 kilobits per second. Let's reduce this down to about 5,000. And same with the upload. We're going to reduce that down to about 2,000. So your download and upload limits affect what each individual user can do on the network. This prevents one user from abusing the network and using up a lot of your bandwidth. That's all we're going to change here. CloudTrax has the ability to broadcast two SSIDs. SSID 1 is the public SSID. These are for shared networks and guest networks. SSID 2 is for private networks and can be used in bridge mode to make a wired network wireless. Because we're only using the guest network in this situation, we're just going to disable SSID 2. We're going to update those settings. Now we're going to set up the splash page. This can be fully edited and branded to fit the dental clinic. So under SSID 1, click Edit Splash Page. CloudTrax comes with a number of built-in templates. You can choose a template at the bottom here. For our purposes, we're going to use Downhill. We're going to change the logo, the header image, our welcome text, and then remove the access options that we don't need. For our network, we're going to use free access, so we can get rid of the passcode access and also the option to pay by PayPal. So with the cursor next to the logo, click the image link and then the Upload Files button. Select your logo, and click Insert. Now we can just delete the existing CloudTrax logo. We'll do the same thing for the header image. With the cursor right next to the existing header image, click the Image button, and insert it. We can get rid of that existing header image as well. The dollar sign gateway name box will be replaced with the gateway name. So that'll automatically change over to say or a dental clinic. We can replace this text with some that we had copied. And then we'll delete the passcode access box as well as the purchase box. And that's it, we've completed our splash page. Now, just hit the Save button, and then close the window. To enable the splash page, simply click Enable, and then update the network settings. To get a feel for the user experience when they log into the network, let's connect to the Aura Dental network.
and you'll see our splash page automatically pops up here. We can just click continue to go to the network. Now we're online, we can go anywhere we want to go. When a user connects on a mobile device, the splash page will automatically scale to fit their device. So you have one page that fits laptops, tablets, smartphones, and really any other device that connects to a network. So that's how you install a cloud-managed wireless mesh network using open mesh products and cloud tracks.